പ്രയർ പ്രോബബിലിറ്റി വേഴ്സസ് പോസ്റ്റീരിയർ പ്രോബബിലിറ്റി ഇൻ ദ പ്രീവിയസ് ലെക്ചേഴ്സ് യു വുഡ് ഹാവ് സീൻ ബോത്ത് ദീസ് ടേംസ് വാട്ട് ദിസ് ലെക്ചർ ഇസ് പെർട്ടിക്കുലർലി ഫോർ ക്ലാരിഫൈങ് വാട്ട് ആർ ദീസ് ടു ടേംസ് വാട്ട് ഇസ് പ്രയർ പ്രോബബിലിറ്റി വാട്ട് ഇസ് പോസ്റ്റീരിയർ പ്രോബബിലിറ്റി ആൻഡ് വാട്ട് ഇസ് ദ ഡിഫറൻസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ പ്രയർ ആൻഡ് പോസ്റ്റീരിയർ ഇൻ ദ കമ്മിങ് ലെക്ചേഴ്സ് you will be seeing both these terms so i want it that you should be clear whenever you hear the word prior and you hear the word posterior okay what we'll do we'll take the example that we took in the last lecture and from that we'll try to understand prior and posterior it will be easier so this was our example that we had two bags first we had a white bag and we had a brown bag inside the white bag we had three apples and one guava and inside the brown bag we had two apples and four four guavas this was our experiment setup and what was the experiment the first thing you do is you will pick one particular bag you will pick a bag so this is a random process and we had uh, given a estimated probability we had said that you will pick white bag 60% of the times and you will pick brown bag 40% of the times this we had made it clear so our experiment has two parts first part is that you will pick one bag out of white and brown and once you pick a bag inside that bag you will go and pick one particular fruit so this is the total experiment so the end result is you will either have an apple in your hand or you will have a guava in your hand so first you will pick a bag let's say you picked a brown bag and then from the brown bag if you pick an apple you have to pick one out of these three apples that is there are uh, sorry in brown you have two apples and four bag so you will be picking one of those two apples in case you are getting an apple once you see the fruit you will observe it you will keep it back in the same bag then you will continue this experiment again and again this is the whole idea what is prior here the experiment is at the end you will find out what is the fruit that you picked prior means whatever happens beforehand that is before seeing the final result that is what you called as prior whatever you know from the beginning so if i ask you what is the probability of bag being white or let us say i am asking you what is the probability of bag being brown these are called prior probabilities that is if i ask you before the experiment started in that case what is the probability of bag equal to white I, we already made it clear that white bag will be picked 60% of the times which means probability of bag equal to white will be 6 by 10 and probability of bag equal to brown will be 4 by 10 because you will be picking it 40% of the times right so this is what you call as prior probability before you completed the experiment or before you pick the fruit if i ask in the beginning itself prior beginning itself if i ask you what is the probability of white bag you will say 6 by 10 similarly probability of ba- brown bag if i ask you you will say 4 by 10 this is what you call as prior probability and what is posterior posterior means once you are told that the fruit is an apple let's say i am telling you that the fruit picked is an apple then if i ask you what which box was picked what is the probability of picking a white bag given that the fruit is apple now the 6 by 10 will change right the 6 by 10 will change and there will be a new probability this is called posterior that what is posterior prior means simply if i ask you what is the probability of bag being let's say white this is prior but after the experiment let us say after i pick the fruit if i ask you what is the probability of bag being white given that the fruit picked this apple this is what you call as posterior probability and how do you find the posterior probability in order to find this you have to apply the bayes theorem because see if you simply see this experimental setup and you know what is the experiment if i ask you what is the probability of bag being white given the fruit is apple it's difficult to find you can't find it straight forward right so here what you have to do you have to apply bayes theorem if you apply bayes theorem this will become probability of fruit equal to apple given bag equal to white into probability of bag equal to white whole divided by probability of fruit equal to apple we had uh, solved this problem in the previous lecture so from there you know 
by applying the Bayes theorem, you can solve this out. So this is the posterior probability. I, if this lecture is not to solve anything. We just need to understand the uh, terminology. Prior means whatever happens before the experiment. Posterior means whatever I ask after the experiment. Before the experiment, if I ask what is the probability of bag equal to white, that is prior probability. It is 6 by 10. If I ask you what is the probability of bag is equal to white, given that the fruit selected is apple or if I say bag equal to white given fruit equal to guava. These are posterior probability. 